Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jeffrey and if you're new here, make sure to leave a sub. Um, shit, my hair is a mess. Anyways guys, I was just making lemon water and uh, last time I made lemon water was probably like a year ago and it's been a while so I noticed that when I used to make lemon water, I would drink a lot more water. And since I'm taking creatine now, it's good that I should, I should be intaking a lot more water than I should be right now, but yeah. I don't enjoy lukewarm water as much as like ice water, so I don't know, it's weird. I don't know what to eat, because I was supposed to eat a bagel, but I think when, like my mom and my dad, they probably ate it in the morning, which I only had one left, and that that's what I wanted to eat today, but they're buying some bagels right now at Stop and Shop, but I'm not gonna wait 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna find something to eat. Toasting my bread. It takes five minutes to toast the bread. Mm, that's good. So good, guys. You guys definitely have to make this. But yeah guys, I'm gonna show you how I cook scrambled eggs. Um, I usually don't like it too cooked. I mean, it's, it's cooked, but like, not too well done, I guess. Um, it literally only takes like 20 seconds, but I'm about to show you guys. So right before I put it in, I have to make sure that the, pot, that the pan is hot. And I use butter spray, even on a non-stick pan. I just feel like the pan is hot, doesn't work the best. Spray some butter. And I usually leave it at medium, which is around six for me. Medium, uh, not medium high, maybe even a little bit less than medium sometimes because I don't want the eggs to cook too quick. But it's gonna take really quick, like it's gonna be really quick anyways. So right before I put it in, I put salt and my scrambled eggs. Like I'll whisk it a little bit with salt. I think when you put it in, like, and you let leave salt in there, I think the texture comes out very, very different. So I usually just put salt right before I put it in. Okay, so I usually just like mix it around. So it doesn't cook too much at one place, one part. Alright guys, so here it is. Not too well, like not too, not too overcooked. And it's just perfect. So I'm gonna add a little bit of powder. I mean pepper, so you can also add a little more salt if it's not, if you feel like it's not uh, salty enough or seasoned enough. Hey yeah, guys, so this is gonna be my breakfast, my pre workout meal, and it's one o'clock. We're gonna eat a little bit earlier today, but um, we're hiring a new worker, so. I have an interview for them around 3 p.m. or so with Tashi. Alright guys, so I just got to the gym. Um, I had a pretty successful interview, so that was pretty good. I was kind of nervous, I don't know why. Like, I'm interviewing the first time and I felt a little bit nervous. So I can imagine how he felt, but he got the job, so I'm going to tell him today that he got the job. Hopefully he takes it after I have him stuff, but... So today Sunday, I'm about to uh, start my bench, start my, start my workout with big time bench, and 
Big step for steak, but it's different than my other push steak because I usually start with flat batch and then and now go like incline dumbbells. But today I'm just starting with uh, incline bench press. Yeah. Alright guys, so I actually just got home. I'm about to eat and shower soon. So let me just show you guys real quick before I end this video of what I'm eating for like lunch. Kind of like my middle meal, I guess. Um, I buy this pretty often. So this is like Chinese chicken. Uh, sorry guys. It's not focusing. Yeah guys. So I buy this pretty often because it has a good amount of meat, chicken, like protein, and it comes with like three slices of cucumbers um, and a soup. This is around ten dollars or so. I buy this pretty often because I feel like it's a pretty healthy option to get when I'm like lazy to cook and stuff. So yeah, and I'm also watching the drama. Alright, guys. So that's it for the video. Um, yeah.